Bulldogs went to the south. Between my roof with money, we're playing representing U Francis, a European boxing club, and Kasim Abid in blue corner representing Agri Slotti. And don't forget, it is the 51 kg no category. Over to you, Tino Lang. Against a big, very difficult show here this night, and uh, the referee is cautioning both boxers. And you can see the way they started, they are too aggressive and very anxious to win. But oh, that is a good one there from the uh, blue one that is uh, Kwaim Abib. But this fight. Look like the the the, uh, the bout we just witnessed between the uh, Farouk and uh, Israel, but still balancing, and uh, the two boxers have lived up to expectations. Thank you so much, Sandy. We are absolutely spot on. The two boxers are doing the right thing, and I tell you, aggression is a very is a very important aspect of boxing. Uh, I have to talk about aggression, you have to talk about the way you defend. I have to talk about that, you have to look at your mentality. Then you have to be able to study your opponent in the first round. After studying him, you must be able to come out with your game plan in the second round. Then, if you have started well, you have, if you have started strong, you must be able to finish strong as well. So, let's see if they will be able to keep up with the momentum. Or uh, maybe one of them will relax. But as I'm looking at them, none of them is ready to take his foot off the pedal. Uh, absolutely, you are spot on here. So I, uh, you said some couple of things that I think I was able to deduce some things there. Uh, you said uh, aggression is important. Yes, aggression is important. And to cap it off, you said you have to study uh, your opponent. So uh, for me, it's two things. If you are too aggressive, it might fall back at you. It might bite you back. So uh, when you are aggressive, you have to know uh, how to uh, study your opponent. How to counter your opponent and so far the two of them have just been aggressive at each other uh, but we can't know what's going to happen uh, in this bout uh, so for me uh, what what what's in it uh, for the second round what is the coach uh, have to tell uh, one or two of them so uh, let's see what they have for us uh, in the second round Second out, round two. All right, uh, we are now in the second round of the 51 kg. Let's see how the two boxers are. Uh, we perform here because uh, we have witnessed the round. Oh, that is a good one. That is a good combination coming from the, the red corner that is... Uh, my roof deal, but uh, let's see whether it's something uh, uh, will uh, retaliate. I'm talking about a big deal. Right, it's still in the uh, round two. But let me ask you this question: You have seen the uh, the red man there? That is the Maruf Utma came out forcefully and. Uh, Ready punches on his opponent. Uh, absolutely, uh, 
absolutely, absolutely spot on there uh, Sunday because uh, I think the fans are uh, more of us uh, come out aggressively. And I think uh, he has uh, one more point out of his opponent from that good combination uh, with one for me. So when you are uh, in a park like this and there's aggression, there will be a lot of combination coming in. You, you and your opponent exchange a lot of punches. Then how far can you hit the target? And uh, I feel there is uh, a little bit of advantage when there is uh, more of uh, a boxer that has a longer reach than the opponent. But right now, I don't see any of them having a longer reach. I see two of them uh, going toe to toe, going neck in, neck in. Uh, two of them both are the same height, not uh, too different from each other. So uh, for me, uh, I think that's actually been uh, fantastic. And then how well can you uh, get a point when you have the momentum? Because when you have a bout like this, the momentum will continue to swing uh, one way, continue to swing back to the opponent. So when you have the momentum, how well can you catch your opponent? How well can you make a uh, point? How well can you hit the target? How well can you uh, make uh, the judges know that you have something uh, to offer in this bout? So uh, let's see, uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Tony Lawrence, for that wonderful analysis from you. Yes, in boxing, eating your target. Eating your target is the most important thing. If you are just throwing punches endlessly and you are not eating the right target, then you are in for trouble. The judges will not score you for eating endlessly, but they will rather score you for eating your target. So I think the two bosses need to learn that and appreciate that. Once they can appreciate that, then they are in for a very great night here at the Yucateco Boxing League Season 2, Week 6. All right, uh, we are seeing the uh, round 2 of this uh, 51 kg between uh, Abib and uh, Moruf. Well, so far, so good. I think Abib has lived up to expectation here, but uh, Moruf is not doing bad. And uh, the two boxers, to me, they have done well and they have thrown punches to each other here. So it's going to be a difficult one for the judges to decide who is going to win this uh, bout. But uh, well, we have seen some bouts like that where at the end of the day, a winner emerged. So, yeah, it's not a new thing. Either we like it or not, a winner must emerge. Of course, Sunday, you're very much right. One thing I want to appreciate about this particular category, talking about 51 kg, is that, you know, the youthfulness is still there. So talking about the ring general shift, uh, they will get, they will get along with that as time goes on. But the youthfulness, and it is expected as a youth, as a boxer in this category, it is expected of you to be very aggressive, and that is what we are seeing on display here this morning. Second out, third and the last run. <laughs> All right, uh, we are now in the crucial stage of this uh, bout of 51 kg. This is the stage where a winner will emerge. This is the stage where the two box star uh, will decide their destiny here. But, uh, Honestly, I, 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 the, the, the course is not really clear for me, if I may say it. From the round one till now, Abib has done well, and uh, even Moruf uh, uh, Utma has done well. So, to me, if I want to have, what can you say about this particular part? Because All right. it's giving me a serious uh, headache here. Thank you, Sandy. Talk about this particular part. As you've rightly said, both boxers are playing well. Uh, but one thing is sure that at the end of this bout, someone must go home as the winner. But what I have to say is this. According to the saying, 
If you have it, flaunt it. So, I uh, the last stage, talking about the third one, if you have the portions, if your fists are fury, if you have the torrential portions, why not unleash it on your opponents now? So that you'll be able to smile at the end of this final round. Similarly. How, how well can you cope? Uh, do, you, do you still have the energy uh, to go all out? Because uh, we can see you, know, you see tired punches coming in and then uh, tiredness are setting. So for me, uh, right now, they are still full of energy. And like you said, uh, AY, there's youthfulness in these boxers, in this 51 kg. Yes, we agree. They may not have the ring generalship, how to manage the ring, how to study the opponents. Uh, but then there's this youthfulness, there's this uh, energy uh, in their fight. Uh, so for me, uh, I feel it will be a hard one uh, for the judges. Uh, we can't know uh, where this one will sit. Uh, but then, like, uh, uh, the, uh, what we saw earlier, uh, the part we saw earlier, what the judges are seeing, we might not see it. Uh, we were not, uh, we were a little bit surprised. Not only me, I can watch for my co commentators here also. We were a little bit surprised by the result of that part. That uh, on anonymous TV, all agree. Uh, so for me, the judges might see something. They know uh, a little better than us, that's their work. So they might see something that they are not seeing uh, in this part. So let's wait and see how it will Yes, thank you, Tamela. It is the work of the judges to come out with the right judgment. I will tell you at Yucateco, we have professional judges that are on top of their game. We have judges that are unbiased in the assessment of belt. And I tell you, one of the reasons they come out with here today, you should be sure that it is nothing but the right result. No matter uh, the position that the judges are coming to, uh, they are judges that they are proving their worth, uh, they are judges that we know, we know them as uh, they are unbiased and are uh, friendly uh, right now. They know what they are saying, and uh, for each judges, uh, they have their own result. So, absolutely, uh, this part uh, has given us expectation. Uh, currently, in the 51 kg, uh, it has been heating up. Uh, right now, uh, if the 51 kg part can entertain us like this, if uh, the youths and uh, the young stars uh, in the Kataka boxing, uh, the viewers can be entertained like this, how much more do you think of uh, the other bouts? What the moment I'm talking about, the ATJs, the sound, how much more do you think of the other bouts? What the moment I'm talking about, the ATJs, the sound, how much more do you think of the other bouts? Result of about 125 with unanimous decision of the five judges, 5-0. Blue is the winner.